In some applications, it is necessary to check component profile, wall thickness etc. To do this, it is common that components have to be cut into sections, to enable inspection. This can be time consuming, and also incurs costs, due to damaging components. If the user scans the component using a laser line probe, or a cobalt imager, CAM2 Measure 10 allows virtual sections to be cut, using the cross-section functionality. This not only reduces inspection time, but also negates the need to destroy the component, making a more cost-effective solution. In this example, an automotive plastic component has been scanned, and we need to inspect the profile of the clipping features. To start, we first need a cutting plane, to work to. This can be an existing plane, or in this case, we can extract the plane from the point cloud, by using the probing method. Then from the Construction tab, we select the Cross-Section Scans option. We can now select the Cutting Plane, from the Plane pull-down menu. Enter an offset from this plane. If we require multiple parallel cross-sections, we can enter the distance between each section, and also the number of sections, or select an existing feature to end at. If aligned to CAT, the point distance filter value will hide any points that have a greater deviation than the entered value. Using even distribution and entering a value will equally space the points on the cross section to this value. Using automatically create nominal will also create the same cross section through the aligned CAT for comparison. The tolerance bandwidth value is the thickness of the virtual cut. Select Create, to construct the cross-sections. Hiding the point cloud, will reveal the virtual cross-sections. It is possible to edit the properties of a cross-section, by double-clicking on it, using the left-hand mouse button. To dimension the cross-section, highlight it in the Features panel, right-click, and select Cross-Section Analysis Mode. From the ribbon, select Reset View, to give a plan view of the cross-section. The view can be manipulated, using the rotate options in the view section of the ribbon. To dimension, first choose the selection tool from the ribbon. Then select the points on the first side of the dimension, press and hold shift, and select the points on the second side. Selected points will be colored yellow. Select the dimension type from the ribbon, and this will be displayed. Hover over the dimension, press and hold the left mouse button, then drag to the desired position. Repeat the steps, to create all the required dimensions. To remove points from the selection, press and hold CTRL, then select the required points. Here we have calculated several heights, from the section. Each dimension is added to the features panel. We can also calculate a radius, by making a single selection of points.
small dimensions such as wall thickness are easily calculated. Angles require two areas of selection, as we did with heights. A screenshot can be taken by selecting Capture from the ribbon. This will be shown in the Feature panel as View Data. Multiple screenshots can be saved by following the same steps again. Selecting a dimension in the Features panel allows the user to add nominal and tolerance information. Choose Close Analysis Mode to exit. The created dimensions are also visible in the 3D viewer. Hide them by selecting the eye symbol to the right of the cross section in the feature panel. We can also create a cross section from the screen. In the cross section properties window, simply check the cross section from screen box. Then drag the line across the required area. This replaces the cutting plane, and all other options are still available. Press Create. The advantage of this method is that the cross section is limited to the length of the line. Dimensioning of the section is as previously shown.
The section screenshots can be added to the report to give clearer graphical results. That concludes this information video, thanks for watching.